Sure has been a while since you last swung by the club. You remember your old pal yu gi right? From Stardust? How could I forget? He manages the number one host club in Camarocho. What's he doing out here? Give his face. <laughs> like, yeah. Hi guys, Cranky Kaz here. And the Shapester. And we're back with more Yakuza 5. In the last episode, we finished chapter 3. Uh, it turns out Ayama of the Tojo clan is actually one of our rivals, um, one of our bigger foes. He's just blown up the Yamagasa family headquarters and we're going into chapter four, which I think is the last uh, chapter for Kiryu. I think so, Possibly, yeah. if I've understood how this game works correctly. Destinations? Bit of a cryptic title. Mm. Let me know who we're going to find here. You think in Mayumi? Mm-hmm. There she is. Hello. Uh, this is a honey trap if ever I saw one. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at this. So what do you want? Mayumi. What did you do? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> well, this episode's getting to a good start. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Naky cuddle, okay. Well, one half anyway. <laughs> Not once, okay. I'm not trusting her after, uh, yeah, after her searching through. Well, we know she's a, a spy for yeah. someone, we just don't know who. <laughs> Is he going to send her packing? Who is she spying for, though, and why? I feel like she's got beef don't with the Tojo, work. you know. Well, he's straight up asking the question. Ototoi. Orega Nakajima Shacho to his shuni, O my no miss the non data auto. Tojo Kai no aru otokoga shit data. Ano himiseniwa Yamagasagumike no otokota chuftari. Sorni casto no una. Mise no boy ga sumeita. Apart from... So she was Ayama's mom? Yeah, Is she being blackmailed in some way? It would seem that way, because she doesn't look too comfortable about the fact she's asking these questions. キリュウカズマさん。お。そうです、これがと。お疲れ様でした。オッケー、maybe Wait, what? He survived? そう。<笑> え、そうです。その人は私に言った。もし自分が消えた後、登場会の中にまだらめさんに近づく人間がいたら、その人間が組織の裏切り者の。まさか。そう。so 
Well, it's good that he's still alive, anyway. Yeah. ホテルでの会合をキャンセルし車での面会を申し入れてほしいとは直接あなたからの連絡を受けた時は。Daigo's got pretty smart. Mm. He's smart at people giving credit for it. Well, it's all about the setting of the meeting. But how do you feel? It's weird. Where is it? Where is it? In the past, the house is a small house. It's a small house. Oh, okay. He was worried about getting assassinated. Oh, okay. He was worried about getting assassinated. Oh, okay. He was worried about getting assassinated. Oh, okay. He was worried about getting assassinated.必ず穴ができてしまう。so it's time to come. Hi, has he, is he disappearing? Has he just gone off himself? Yeah, so he's not been kidnapped. Ooh, to make his own arrangements with other people? <laughs> Ooh, okay. So he was kidnapped from the Japanese.行方を狂わせれば山笠組の仕業だと誰もが思う。その隙に道島会長は福岡を抜け出したんです。じゃあ大吾は東京に。いえ、東京に戻る前に確かめなければならないことがあると あなたにはあなたが福岡で暮らしているという情報。登場会に流していたのは他ではない。私です。あんたが。道島会長に頼まれた。福岡にいるあなたが素性を隠して生きていけるように守ってほしいと。大悟が。うん。道島会長もあなたが福岡にいるという情報までは掴んでいたようです。あなたが素性を隠していることを知っていた。
だから会長はあなたが騒動に巻き込まれることなく穏便に日常生活が送れるようにとわざわざ福岡まで私を訪ね頭を下げたのですそんなことが関東最大の組織の頂点に立つ男が地方の一勢力に過ぎない山笠組に頭を下げるこれがどれほどのことかあなたならわかるはずだ以来私は堂島会長と数字前にから得た情報を会長に報告していたのですマユミとあんたの関係は親子です。マユミは私の実の娘です。あ,あんたの娘。桐生さんが福岡にいるという情報は極秘中の極秘事故。心から信頼のおける人間にしか教えられません。だから私は実の娘であるマユミに。あなたを守るという役を託したのです。<笑>だが、もし最初からキリウカズマという人がどういう人間なのか知っていたら、自分の娘を近づけたしなかったでしょうな。どうしてだあなたに惚れてしまうからです。実の娘が結ばれない恋に悩む姿は見たくなかった。キキリウさん、これを。What's that? これは山笠組の解散宣言です。Oh, wow. これをあなたの手で警察に出していただけませんかなぜなぜ解散を育ちすぎた子供たちをこれ以上小さな城で養うには無理がある。山笠組は本来小さな家です。だが。私は子供たちを受け入れすぎた。登場会という巨大な組織と一触即発の状態になってしまった今、私にできることは、可愛い子供たちが生きていけるようにすることだけだ。So、so, yeah. 解散すれば、もう我々は極道じゃない。島を開け渡せば、登場会や大見から命を狙われることもないはず。Okay. So、means the Tojo and Omi go for each other and not all of this shit. 最良の選択なんです。身を引く覚悟があるなら、直接あんたの口から古文に説明してやるのが義理なんじゃないのか。九州の男ってのは頭に血が上ったら最後。この状況で登場会と喧嘩するなと言っても素直に言うことを聞くような子供たちじゃないならいっそ法の力で収めてもらうのが一番の策解散すれば組は実質警察の管理下になる登場会や大見も迂闊に手出しはできませんでもどうして俺が本来なら私が納得いくよう組員たちに説明すべきだだが今はこの体登場会との戦争を避けるための話し合いをすることすらままならないそれにあなたが解散の届け出を出したとしてはあの八幡も納得するんじゃないかと思いましてなあの男が昨晩あなたと八幡は拳を交わした八幡というのは計算はできないんですが
一度拳をかわした男がどういう人間なのかそういうのはちゃんとわかる男ですまあ不幸中の幸いとでも言うんですかなこうなる前に八幡とあなたが戦ってくれていてよかった。勝手なお願いをしているということは分かっています。ですが、この老いぼれの願い、どうか叶えてやってもらえませんでしょうか。キュウ just gets all the burdens placed on him. He does, yeah. キリュウさん。Oh, I kind of want them to stay together. あなたを騙していたことは一生かけても償います。ですからどうかどうか父の頼み引き受けてもらえませんかマユミ俺はお前が思っているほどできた人間じゃない俺もお前の親父もあの青山ってのも根っこは同じ所詮は極道だ Go find a nice man. だが極道は極道でも皆同じってわけじゃない俺はできた人間じゃないが男の頼みを聞けないほど腐っちゃいないあっキリュウさんこれは俺が預からせてもらうえですが腐れに育てられたガキの世話は嫌いじゃない本気で俺に任せるというなら何も聞かずに預けてくれキリオさん結局俺は一人じゃなかった一人になることなんかできなかった理由はどうあれ弱りきっていた俺のそばにこんないい女を置いてくれたこと感謝している絶対に青山の好きにはさせないそれだけは約束するそれじゃすまんかったわいマユミ今すぐあの男ば追いかけてもよかったわいお前が阻害したかとやったら、うん、私は全てを受け入れるつもりやけん。マユミ。それ以上言わないで。どうにかなっちゃいそうだから。お願い。お父さん。Done anything, right? No, but she's clearly fallen for him, and he's just like, but he's、yeah. never shown any interest apart from、yeah. like her turning up and him just being like,、oh, Okay, hang out here. Yeah, well, maybe it's just because of the fact that it was clear after all that time, he it he, wasn't, you know, he wasn't gonna sort of、yeah. change. I mean,、She、he's、really、Kiryu, he's had Sayama, like, that was Sayama. Well, actually, Yumi was probably the closest to an actual proper partner. He was going to have. Then Sayama was sort of a love interest, but. Yeah, but then、I、they sent、like、Sayama off to the US, didn't they? Like、never to a, be seen again. He's <laughs> a bit like James Bond, isn't he? Like, he's not going to be tied down to a woman. At the same so, time, it's not as though he's actively looking for it necessarily, in this, <laughs> you know? I think he just, you know, if someone comes along, he'll have a fun time, maybe. Oh, that, no, I don't, I don't really that, think he's too nice a person for that.、He's、that actually doesn't、come. match his character, does it? No. He's, he's less James Bond in that sense. But、yeah. at any rate, he's not going to be tied down by a woman. He's got bigger Yakuza things to deal with. So, Madarami wants to break up the Amagasa family. Better tell Yahata about, about this. You got in a fist fight with him. We did. So, fist fight number two? <laughs> If I'm going to find him, I should start by tracking down his men. They were all wearing those tacky red tracksuits, if I remember right. Okay, and we've just got to look for Yahata. So、oh, find the groups of 
okay. suit gut wearing guys and load of side quests on the map. Uh, okay. Oh yes, we have got we've got three more side quests. So that is fishing. Yeah, so there's one over here near Nagasu Taxi. And one down here. And okay. one down at the bottom as well. Oh wow. Near the save point. Shall we get a taxi down to the south area then? And have a look at those ones. Yeah. Why Seems the hell like a not? Good idea. Is this nope. the taxi? No. Just subtle light. Nope, you're not oh. going into this road. What? Oh. Oh. spotted. Shiny. Doesn't feel like you've been on this street much. But I just saw another one there. Left ooh, behind ooh, you. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Lucky, you found the lucky parlour. Okay. The lucky parlour. Let's just check. Is this just gambling? This might just be gambling, in which case we'll just leave. Not that I have anything against gambling, but if it's just blackjack and poker and stuff, then I'm kind of... This is CR Aladdin Destiny EX Pachinko Machine number 97. Catchy. Maybe I should give it a try. Okay. I've never played pachinko before. Oh, is it just pinball? Uh... Uh, buy 250 balls. Oh, no. mm -hmm. What? What do I do? What? Square? I am. Oh. I really don't understand what I need to do here. Uh, okay, play stop. So press circle. Circle to play. Yeah. Stop. What do I do here? Oh, okay. What? Look at, uh, oh, you've got the left, and you're using the left <gasps> stick at all. I don't know what I do. What am I supposed to do here? Some help, help. Yes, give me help. During regular play and jackpots, aim left. When the V icon appears, aim right. Uh, this is not helpful. Okay. Oh my goodness. What? This is like the weirdest. Okay, okay, great. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Stop playing. Stop playing. <laughs> I don't know what how I'm meant to do. How much time we're going to waste <laughs> just not working out what this is. Okay, guys, tell me how I'm meant to play Pachinko, because that was confusing as fuck. <laughs> it's just, that's put you off going into the lucky parlour, then. Uh, well, it looked like it was all very similar. So, yeah, let us know how, what I'm meant to do, because that was very unclear. Uh, let's go... Not left, we were just there. South Nagasagi. Yeah, let's go to that one. Nagasugai, sorry. <laughs> Us and the names, we, we're still uh, struggling a bit with yeah. them, aren't we? Right. Great. So, oh, oh right. Email. Riku! Oh, that's Riku, of course. Hello, Riku. This is Riku. I'm at work now. Stop by and see me. I can't decide whether I want to go and see her or not. Um, in the let's play, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Um, right, which way are you going? Good question. Yeah, that way. That way. That way for one of them. Oh, oh you. here we go. Come on then, let's have you. Yeah, I can't decide whether to do the whole Riku. It took a long time. In that episode where we hung out with her, mm. it took a like half an hour of the episode just to do one date with her. Yep. So I feel like this let's play will be very long if we do all that sort of stuff. Mm. So, for the purpose of the let's play, I feel like I'm probably not gonna. Ooh, on the floor. What? No, in front of you. In front of you. Shiny anything on the floor. Oh, like there. Okay, yeah. I haven't got to it yet. Yeah. Um, yeah, for the purposes of this Let's Play, I'm thinking maybe I won't do...
do all the Riku stuff. Possibly. You do not want that other side quest. Yes, I do. Okay. I'm going here. Let's see. I'll finish what I'm trying to say in a minute. <laughs> I don't think I'll do the Riku stuff. And I don't think I'll do the taxi side missions either. Oh, we're at the drugstore. Well, actually, we could do it stocking up. Yes, that's it. Uh, let's get some. You've only got space for one thing anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, let's get. Oh, let's leave it then. If I've only got space for one thing, because otherwise I'll be sending stuff to the item box all the time. I'm just trying to. If it's rest. Ah, it was yellow actually, so I should have realised. But um, if it, there's a restaurant nearby, I'm going to try and go and eat something at the restaurant. Right, gotcha. Right, let's go do this side quest. Dude, there, by the looks of it. Muramatsu. Oh, it's you, Suzuki san. I can't remember who this dude is. He's a taxi driver. Is he? He's one of the oh, taxi, okay. taxi guys. Nope, not quite. Anyway, there's something I can help you with? Not exactly, no. Just saw you there. Thought I'd say hello. Hmm? You sure? No ulterior motive whatsoever? Huh, you're a lot friendlier than I gave you credit for. Thanks. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. It's ah, Yuya! It's Yuya! What are you doing here? You're the last... Oh, Kiryu-san! Oh, great. We've got to pretend we don't know him. Yeah, Man, you're you. the last guy I expected to run into out here. Not, Not good. good. Sure has been a while since you last swung by the club. You remember your old pal Yuya, right? From Stardust? How could I forget? He manages the number one host club in Kamurocho. What's he doing out here? Kiryu's face. It's like, yeah. <gasps> you know this guy, Suzuki-san? And what's this old Kiryu-san business? Huh? huh? Uh, who's Suzuki-san? He wouldn't know I'm hiding my identity. <laughs> I'll keep... pretend I didn't see him. No, I, <laughs> I mean, I he's keep... right there. Yeah. I have to keep up the facade. You must have the wrong guy. My name is Suzuki. How could I be wrong, Kiryu-san? I'd know you from a mile away. It must just be a chance resemblance. They say there are always three others who look exactly like you somewhere in the world. Come on, Kiryu-san. <laughs> that isn't working, Stop is it? Stop messing around. You're not just pulling my leg. Sorry to interrupt, but who are you? <laughs> oh, the name's Yuya. I work as a host in Tokyo. Me and Kiryu-san here go way back. This isn't working, is it? Anyway, I thought you were still in Okinawa, so it's strange running into you here. Small world, huh? What's this all about, Suzuki-san? This Yuya fellow seems to think he knows you. Of course <laughs> I do. Fucking hell. Tell him, Kiryu-san. <sighs> oh, I have to, to find, find a way out of this mess. <laughs> What's my best move? Scare him. No. <laughs> Keep playing dumb. Do I really look that much like this Kiryu-san guy you know? Look like? Come on, I know it's you. No, you must have made some mistake. I've never heard of this mystery man you're talking about. I don't get it. Why are you trying so hard to avoid me? Damn it. What do I do now? <laughs> hey, Suzuki-san, you don't think this guy's trying to scam you, <laughs> it's do you? Like, uh, uh. <laughs> I just find it strange how insistent he's being, even though you keep telling him he's got the wrong guy. You've got to be kidding me. I would never do anything like that. Yeah. I think you might be right, oh, Muramatsu-san. No. Are oh, you serious? No. Oh, poor you, yeah. Look, Yuya, or whatever your name is, if you keep harassing us, we're going to have to call the police. You want that? <laughs> Maybe I really do, do have, have the wrong guy. guy. Sorry, Sorry, Yuya. <laughs> okay, then. Guess I'd better leave. I'm glad you've come to your senses. That's really all I wanted. Sorry we had to get a bit forceful with you. <laughs> oh God, that's going to be awkward if you run into him again. Seems he wasn't one of those crooks after all. I feel a little sorry for him now. Yeah, hmm. me too. Well, I should probably get going. There's always more work to do. Right. See you later. Can we go talk to Yuya now? No, this is going to be your uh, side quest, I'm guessing. I feel bad about doing that to Yuya, but at least Muramatsu-san seems to have bought the act. Oh. Uh... Kiryu-san? Yuya! It, it is, is you, isn't, isn't it? it? There's no way I wouldn't recognise a friend. 
I think I get what's happening. You were trying to hide your true identity from that Muramatsu guy you're with, right? Heh, <laughs> wish you would have got the message a little quicker. Anyway, let's go somewhere else. <laughs> well, at least he so seems to have forgiven you. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. So you're hiding your past so it doesn't hurt Haruka-chan's ch chances, chances of becoming an idol. <laughs> Yeah, having me around would only cause her trouble. This was the only option. Did you really need to take a new name, though? But man, I had no idea what was going on. Sorry for running my mouth and almost blowing your cover. No need to apologise. I didn't expect to run into anyone I knew down in Fukuoka. I feel like someone in the comments has told us how to say that, and we're probably saying it wrong still, mm -hmm. but oh well. Yeah, talk about a coincidence. What brings you out here, anyway? Oh, uh, I just came out here for vacation. Thought it'd be nice to get out of Kamurocho for change. You're still dressed like a host. <laughs> <laughs> what about the club? Kazuki put you in charge, so I hope there's someone capable of filling your shoes while you're gone. Don't worry, Stardust is still standing. Besides, it's not like it'd fall apart if I just up and left. Yuya, are you really just here on vacation? Huh? What kind of question is that? I'm asking if there's any other reason you're down here. You're acting kind of evasive. You can tell me the truth. I can't promise I can do anything about it, but at least I can listen. Alright, but this is between you and me, okay? Sure, I understand. Actually, Kiryu-san, I'm thinking of quitting the host business. Is he serious? <laughs> Stardust practically runs itself these days. We have no shortage of rising stars on staff. Everything's going smoother than ever. And the guys I once thought of as newbies are now fully able to handle things on their own, so they hardly ever need my advice. As the years move on, I've started to get the feeling that I've lost my way. Kind of like something's missing in my life. It was never like that before. I was always really driven to make Stardust a big success. But now I don't have the same passion. I can tell it's all downhill from here. So I thought I should put some distance between me and Stardust. That seemed like the only way to, f to find the fire that I used to have. I see. That's what brought you here, huh? That's a thing, right? Going on a trip to do some soul searching? That's pretty much what this is for me. What about Kazuki? Didn't he leave, leave Stardust in your hands? I haven't told Kazuki anything. Not yet, anyway. It's hard enough admitting how I feel to myself, let alone the guy who gave me his business. In any case, I'm useless to him the way I am now. If I had to go back like this, I'd be better off quitting. Did you really go that far? Can't go on like this, can I? Getting away from Kamurocha was all I could do to try and fix things, but I still don't know what to do with myself. That said, running into you here has given me an idea. What do you mean? I could start over in a new town and become someone else, like what you did here. What? <laughs> Employing that face a lot like... Uh. Uh? I want to make a fresh start too. It'll be like the old days when I still had the drive to make things happen. I think that'll help me get myself together. And how do you plan to make a fresh start? First, I'll find a job. Doesn't matter what it is. Actually, I should probably find the kind of job nobody else wants to do. A job that forces you to work like crazy to get things done. So you won't be going back to Stardust? I don't think so. No. I see. Kazuki won't be happy with me, but I don't think there's anything I can say to change your mind. Thanks, Kiryu-san. I knew you'd get me. Well, I'd better head off. I've got some serious job hunting to do. Oh, and the udon was great. I feel like that's going to be a long uh, running mm. quest line there. Might bump into him again. I hope Yuya finds his motivation again. Or maybe not. Can we get noodles? <gasps> Let's get noodles. Aha, uh -huh. and you're going to tell Tatsuya about this place. Brilliant. Okay, cool. Uh, let me order noodles, please. Is that the ah. guy you talk to? We can walk around this one. Uh, should we just go for the standard Hakata Udon experience? Go for it. With a fresh egg. I don't like egg in my noodles. Nutritious uh, vegetables. A big round fish cake, no. Beef. Juicy meat. <laughs> Juicy meat, we'll have that one. Nom. Om nom 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 nom. That's even better than I was expecting. 
was better than I expected. Mm-hmm. Great. Cool. I think that should have increased my stamina. It has. Oh, did it? Right, increased your health a bit, and you've also got a strength bonus, I believe. Good, good. It is very bright outside. Our camera is it really is. bright. I've just seen. Mm -hmm. oh. Right, where are you uh, now? Are you still in? Oh. I am here, oh. so I'm going to go do that other side quest. I also need to look out for men in red tracksuits. So yep. if you spot any... Has another question mark come up, which would be a bit more of that quest with you, yeah? There's... No, okay, that's fine. I think there's all the same question marks. I thought I saw something else, but it was actually a taxi. So my apologies. What is that? Oh, that's the drugstore, yep. Oh. Sorry about the other day. It was literally today. I looked all over for work and ended up getting a gig as a live-in waiter at Hostess Club. The place is called La Seine. I'm going to try starting over in this town too. Nice. Ah. Cool. So you started working at a cabaret club. Maybe I'll go see him. Cool. Ah, oh, so we, we could carry on. We oh. could go see Riku. Well, this guy's a side quest. What? Blair, heck, damn it. Drunken guy. Big tough guy. You can read this. You got a problem? Quit staring at me. I was hoping you'd do a big tough guy voice. He's pretty drunk. What the hell are you looking at? That's better. Happy now? Yeah. You took us in a great hors d'oeuvre from Murasawa. Still want to pick a fight with me? You named yourself after an appetizer. You goddamn right, and I'm not putting up with any lip from a little shit like you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that worked. Grab him. <laughs> Easy. Hmm? Who are you? I've never been defeated by an amateur before. You shouldn't be brawling when you're that drunk. Did that sober you up? Yeah, a little. I guess I was a bit out of control. It's been a while since the last time I had a drink. You should stay away from the booze for today. Head home and get some rest. Hey, hold on a second. What's your name? Suzuki. Suzuki-san, huh? I'm a wrestler. The name's Hordeur of Morisawa. Heard of me? No. No, <laughs> I'm afraid not. Is that an actual wrestler? Because they seem to like doing cameos in these games. Uh, I'm afraid not. Are you still wrestling at your age? Sort of. I'm over 60 now and I was still rumbling in the ring 10 years ago. Wow. Now I'm looking for a place to lay my career to rest. You mean you're retiring? That's right. You may not have heard of me. Back in my day, the name Hors d'oeuvre Morisawa was known by wrestling fans all over. <laughs> I did everything I could to thrill the crowd. Blood spilling performances with deadly weaponses. Weaponses? Deadly weapons, death matches in electrified cages. What, so, like the Coliseum? This could say the Underground Coliseum. Sounds uh, like where it was at. When my popularity died down, I did a few farewell matches, but I always made a comeback. It was all just to keep my name out there. Interesting. I never really thought about the performance aspect of wrestling before. But after starting side businesses without permission from my league and doing all those farewell matches, I lost the support of my fans. Once your popularity starts to slide, there's nothing you can do. I ended up getting myself into all sorts of trouble. I couldn't control myself back then. I had my fair share of brushes with the law too. Then after my seventh comeback, the wrestling league I belonged to finally dropped me. I completely deserved it, of course. I didn't get along well with any of the other wrestlers. So there was nobody left on my side. There I was, kicked out of wrestling, with nothing but a bunch of failed side ventures and a ton of debt to my name. It's been a decade since I last stepped into the ring. The years have caught up with me, and my strength is failing. I've been thinking of putting an end to my wrestling career once and for all, and I want to do it right. How so? I want to lay the name Hors d'oeuvre Morisawa to rest for one last proper farewell match, so I can say my goodbyes to the ring and the crowd. This time it won't just be a performance. I want my final bout to be a fitting end to my life as a wrestler. This farewell was supposed to take place today. What happened? My opponent refused to take up the challenge. He said he couldn't fight me. He's another wrestler for my old league. The only guy I could remotely call a friend. He agreed to be my opponent for this final match. But when the league got wind of what was happening, they put a stop to it. What? <laughs> Can you believe it? 
They still haven't forgiven me. Ten years after they kicked me out. So you decided to drown your troubles in alcohol then? Yeah. My first sip in ten years. But it tasted horrible. All I need now is someone to fight. And I think you'd be able to pull it off, Suzuki-san. Huh? Oh, Don't get me that face involved. again. Please, I know it's ridiculous to pick a fight with you and then ask a favour like this, but I really need you to take me on in the ring. Oh, do we have to? You're no to? ordinary brawler, that's for sure. You've got what it takes to face off with a wrestler like me. So oh, fucking hell, really? It's just a little venue out in open air, but I poured every last bit of money I had left into this final match. This is my last chance. I have nothing else left to live for. I'm begging you, let me wrestle one last time in front of a crowd. Sorry, it's just... It wouldn't be smart to show my face somewhere conspicuous like that. Wait! You don't need to make a decision right now. There's still some time left. If you decide to take up the challenge, come to Ose Bridge. I've got a special ring set up there. I'll be waiting for you. If you don't come, the match is off. They won't give me my money back, and I'll lose the trust of my last few fans. Don't guilt trip me or anything. <laughs> I'd like to help out. I mean, you're a better person than I am, Kiri. But I need to—I need some way to conceal my face. Otherwise, stepping into the ring would be a huge risk. We need like those masks, like we had mm -hmm. in Yakuza Three. Maybe there's something I could use back at my apartment. Big balaclava or something. Oh well, there you go. My last saying is just here. If you want to go see Yuya. Uh, is that this one? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Oh, is that Yuya? There he is. Kiri-san, did you get my email? I did. So you're really starting over, Yuya? Yep. Ah, oh, it's kind of nice to see a familiar face. Mm -hmm. I'm doing whatever it takes to get the old me back. I mean, you're pretty much doing the same thing, just in a different city, dude. I thought way to work at a cabaret club would be pretty tough, but it's not that bad at all. No matter what the job, once you have the experience of working your way up, you never forget the basics. That's why it's easy for you. Makes sense. It's strange, you know, how feeling needed really motivates you. I haven't felt like this for a while. Hey, are you goofing off out here? I could say the same about you. What's up, Momoka? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just came to check up on you, Kazuki-kun. <laughs> Kazuki? Yeah. That's the name I go by here. Just run with it, Suzuki-san. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> fine. So, who's your buddy? Suzuki-san here is an old friend who helped me out a lot back in the day. Oh, yeah? Well, I guess I should tell you, Suzuki-san. I've got my sights set on your old friend Kazuki-kun's heart. He's a real sweetie pie, you know? Aww. Whoa, slow down there. Heh. <laughs> Good luck. He <I> didn't... <laughs> you didn't waste any time blending in. Oh, come on. Even though Kazuki-kun's new here, he seems to know the job like the back of his hand. All the girls love him. He handles the drunks like a pro and he gives us great advice on how to treat customers. Our manager really relies on him too. Hey, shouldn't you be getting back to work? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope I didn't interrupt you, Suzuki-san. Though, if you want to come back with me, you're more than welcome. Sorry about that. Don't worry. But after seeing that, I have to wonder if you'll ever go back to Kamurocho. Uh, I don't even want to think about that just yet. I just can't seem to make up my mind. But when I finally do, I'll be sure to get in touch with Kazuki-san and the rest of the club. I see. Guess it's really none of my business. Don't be like that. I appreciate your concern. Well, I'll stop by again sometime. Keep your chin up, you. I will. Thank you. Okay, so we could go and see Riku and do date number two. Or we could... I mean, we still need to find these Naga... At these Yahata family men, don't we? Yep. Well, that'll be around somewhere. You've so got no just, objective Maybe point. let's just keep wandering around. Let's go to the um, Nagasu taxi. Question mark. Are you going to do that fight with that wrestler, do you think? I don't know. Possibly. Oh, the question mark's now appeared. It's a... That'll be Yuya again, yeah, I guess. Yeah, more Yuya stuff. Yeah. it's worth talking to these people oh my goodness I hate cliffhangers the author's taking a break next issue everyone's glitched on the lamp posts <laughs> what's going on oh, there, there you go. go 
and glitched you, mate. There you yeah, go. Just pushed you out of the way of the lamppost. I just wondered if talking to people might uh, give us a clue as to where these hmm. Yammer Gasser people are. That is a lamppost. <laughs> You're glitching yourself out on lampposts now, are you? Donk. This is the right way, yeah? Check them out. No. Why is there a mini... Hang on. There's a minivan thing there. There's a minivan thing there. What is what is going on here? Oh, is that the... Is that that guy's place? The weapon guy's place? Ah, yes. Yeah, I think you might be right. Oh, you could tell... Uh, was that Tatsuya oh. down there? Oh, no, that's someone else. No, that is the Kamaki Jr. guy. Oh, yes, it's him. Maybe yeah. we should... Since we're here, let's go and fight him again. Why not? Why the heck not? It's in here, right? Yep. People glitching through the wall again. Right, let's fight you again. Let's see what you've got to teach us this time. Bill. You're back. Want to do some training? Let's train. So, I just kick his ass, basically. That's what I do. Unless it tells you to do otherwise, I guess. Yeah. yeah. This time, we'll focus on the most basic of the basics, evasion. Think of it this way. You can't lose if your opponent never hits you. True. Then again, you'll never win if you don't go on the offensive. So if you can attack while evading, you'll be unstoppable. Pretty simple, huh? Oh, so it's like a quick step with an attack. That would be cool. Evade and strike. Right. The Kamaki evade and strike. Oh, that would be handy. Of course, it has its drawbacks. You won't be able to attack at full power since you're evading at the same time. The idea is to evade and strike to create an opening, then follow up with more attacks. I feel like I should have done this earlier. Mm-hmm. Would have probably helped on that boss fight. Okay, you ready? Let's do this. Like I said before, you'll get ticked off if I hit you too much. It's not like I'm going to hold back. Suit yourself. You're the one who's going to suffer if it comes to that. Enough talking. Let's go. Okay, so now I know I just need to beat the shit out of this guy. It's fine. Because you can always knock him back now. Yes. Like that. <laughs> He's doing it as well, <laughs> that's the problem. Have you tried doing the throw at the end of your combo? No, it does it automatically. You have to press circle at the end of the combo. Do I? Yes, that's what the instructions were on it. Hang on, wait. I thought it said that it would automatically do it. Check your abilities just to be sure. I feel like it said at the end, when you're doing your finishing move of a combo, you have to press circle and then it'll do a grab. And where, throw where would this be? Up there, your bounding throw, I think it is. Press circle during, during the finishing, finishing blow. Okay, okay. Ah, fuck. <laughs> So obviously do your combo. Circle when you do the finishing blow. Yeah, yeah okay. Nice. <laughs> oh, run. Some reason. It didn't work, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's one way to do it, just throw him if you can. Now Ron's just gonna get pissed. Using the Kamaki Evaden thingy worked pretty well. You 
still taking damage, though. So I know. Yeah. Oh! Actually done. Whew. Sorry, I had to focus on that. It's yeah, quite difficult. Well, yeah. Good enough, you pass. <laughs> to use evade and strike right, you've got to be able to evade, even, uh, evade when needed, you know? If all you're thinking about is landing a blow, you'll be in for a world of pain. Yeah, I get it. Nice. Hey, you move pretty well for an old dude. You don't look like you play sports, so what, did you bust some heads back in the day? <laughs> no, no comments. Comment. <laughs> Keeping your past a secret, old man. Oh, whatever. It's not like I really care. Hey, do you know how Gramps is doing? Haven't seen him in a long time, but the last time we met, he was doing fine. I'm guessing that's in his head, mm -hmm. he's thinking. If you're so interested, why don't you just go and see him yourself? He'll be at the Camarocho Dojo unless he's moved on. Dojo and Camarocho, huh? Figures. <sighs> That's exactly why that old ge geezer's no good. Anyway, the point is, I'm stronger and better looking to boot. Wait, what are we talking about now? Relax, old man. You'll go bald sweating the details like that. Come on back if you feel the need. So how do you do that evade and strike then? Uh, let's have a little looky. So um, that is the training, isn't yep. it? So just while quick stepping, I do triangle. Nice. Okay. Probably forget to do that. Guess uh, be one of those things you just get used to doing. How do you do X and triangle at the same time though? Well, I guess you just press X then triangle X as triangle. he's doing it. Yeah. Probably do it like automatically anyway. Just by panicking, you know. <laughs> um, so Yuya is there. We where are these Yamagasa? Uh, the Yahata family men. The Yamagasa. F oh yeah, Yahata. Yeah, they are Yahata family specifically. Okay. Where are they gonna be? Unless they're at a club drinking. Possibly, although maybe you'll come across them if you sort of go around enough of town. Let's go back up the street. And go go to Nagasu Taxi because there's a question mark there. Mm -hmm. It's like it's encouraging you to do the side stuff because it's not giving you a clear objective. Wise, you, you know, if you're going to be looking around anyway, yeah. you might as well do these side quests. I mean, there are times in in the other Yakuza games where you have to find mm. uh, find certain family members, and it doesn't tell you where they are. So, I mean, we'll see if we bump into them. Maybe it's a case of going into a club at some point. I think there's a car behind you. Probably. Well, it can wait because I'm Kiryu. Kazuma, and I'm gonna go where I want. Kazuma Kiryu. Kazuma Kiryu. So you can toot at me. Oh wait, is it the fishing? So this one might. Oh, be no, 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 this guy, no, 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 this guy is. that's injured. You okay, dude? Whoa! I don't believe it. Is that you, Kiryu-san? I don't recognise this dude. You know me? Of course I do. It's me, Noburo Kudarizaka. You remember, right? I asked you to stand in for me when I was shooting that period piece. No, I don't remember. I'm guessing this is from a previous Yakuza story. Yeah, I'm story. guessing so. Guys, which game is he from? That does sound somewhat familiar. I mean, I remember doing like the samurai sub story. Hmm. Yeah, when was you it had Kiwami to... Two? I can't remember. Kiwami One or Two? Uh, man, I didn't expect to run into you here. I guess the stars aligned for me. There must be a god after all. Why do you say that? I'm working on a new project, but I hurt myself just as shooting was about so to start. Do it again. again. The thought of bringing this up to the director has had me biting my nails this entire time. I'll have to get another two hour manicure. Anyway, you've already done this before, so I really need your help. Can you stand in for me again? So I'm going to be in yet another movie, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I'll do it. Great, thanks a bunch. So what's the roll this time? Oh, it's the perfect roll for you, Kiryu-san. It's a Yakuza action movie. All you have to do is rough some people up. And I use the term people loosely. It's not zombies, is it? <laughs> uh, well, I guess I could pull off an action roll. Awesome! Then I'll take you to the set right away. Ah, oh, this will be fun. Good sub-story to end on. Va 
vampires? Looks like it. Hey there. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> hey, Kiri Chan, it's been a while. Too bad the only reason we're meeting is because Kuda Chan here keeps breaking himself and everything he touches. We have friends like that. <laughs> <laughs> really sorry, I don't know what I'd have done if I hadn't run into you. You're doing us a serious favour. Not to mention, Kiri Chan, you're perfect for this role. <laughs> It's almost like it was meant to be. Here's the script. All you have to do is memorise the parts for the lead role, Tatsu. Oh no. You finally made it, Tatsu of Kamuro. I'm here, I'm here to, to end, end this, brother. this brother. So I need to remember that. Mm -hmm. You think you can kill me? Sorry, but that will never happen. I cannot be killed, for you see... You're, you're a, vampire, a vampire, right? right? <laughs> So you knew, ha ha, indeed, and all those I bite become the living dead. Four zombies appear behind Tatsu. Soon enough you'll join them, Tatsu of Kamuro. Okay. Oh. Yes, so it's like the samurai thing. I think it's uh, like... Swept back hair, then a hat, then a flashy jacket, then glasses. Swept back hair, Hair, hat, hat jacket, glasses. Okay, swept back hair, hat, jacket, yellow glasses. jacket, glasses. Not bad, Tatsu. You're just as I expected. Let's see how immortal you really are. Not so fast. I still have oh, a few cards hell. left up my sleeve. Countless, Countless zombies, zombies appear. appear. Goodbye, my brother. You might have lived if you hadn't been so eager to unmask me. Tatsu begins to take down the zombies. Special techniques. <laughs> right. He fights them off one by one. Not bad. Now you have to deal with me. Okay. A Tatsu Japanese readies kids. a Japanese katana. That blade, is that the hazy moon? It can't be. How did you get hold of it? The hazy moon you stole from the boss was fake. Did I need to? Okay. What, so you swapped it for the real one? Haha, <laughs> I see now. It seems the tables have turned. But I shall enjoy this. For the first time, it will be a fight for my life. Finally, the battle against the main antagonist begins. Tatsu wields the demon blade hazy moon for his final attack. Tatsu uses the demon blade special technique. Manages to pull off a miraculous victory. Fucking wow, hell. okay. The boss will be waiting for you in hell. Okay. <sighs> That's a lot to remember. Swept back ha hair. Hair, hat, jacket, glasses. Okay, you just keep me right on the <laughs> I, thought I thought this was, was supposed, supposed to be a Yakuza, Yakuza movie. movie. <laughs> Are you all good? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go for I it. Think. Fuck it. Fuck I it. I mean, we'll just see how we go. Memory should hopefully kick in when we see the options in front of us. Yeah, fingers crossed. Remember, you don't have to say the lines word for word. Just make them snappy and relevant. It's a good job, because we may not necessarily get the, the right words. Do your best with the action sequences. Ideally, we'd like you to follow the script, but you'll get paid either way. All right. Let's get this thing rolling. Action. So, you finally made it, Tatsu of Camaro. I'm right. here to end this, brother. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Well done. You think you can kill me? Sorry, but that will never happen. I cannot be killed, for you see... You're a, You're vampire. a vampire, right? You're a vampire. <laughs> You're an umpire. <laughs> <laughs> so you knew. <laughs> Indeed. And all those I bite become the living dead. Yeah, they come. So hair, hat. Which one's got the sweat hair, back hair? Hair, hat, jacket, glasses. There you go. Okay. In that order. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so the guy with the tie. Yep. Yep, he's gone. <laughs> right, that's that one. Now right. we need Hat Dude. Hat Dude. Got him. Right, jacket. Right, come on, jacket, dude. I'm gonna smack him with an office chair. Circle. <laughs> and now the glasses, dude. Pick him up. Or not. Nice. Okay. That wasn't too hard. Interesting. 
You're just as strong as ever, Tatsu. You're the man I acknowledge as my brother, after all. Let's see if you're really immortal or not. That was it, wasn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. so. They're nodding, so that's good. Not so fast. I still have a few cards left up my sleeve. And here comes, like, countless zombies. Is this where I have to do the special techniques? Yeah, it just says... Like, heat actions? Yeah, I think so. You might have lived if you hadn't been so eager to unmask me. So get some heat actions on them. Yep. Should be doable. There you go. Circle. There you go. <laughs> Bosh. It's one down. Didn't realise this was the set as well, a random office. How do you taunt again? Right. <laughs> Take out two of them at once. Good job. Yeah, I can't remember how it taunts. Is it what, L2 or R2 or something like that? There you go. That's a hey. taunt. Okay. <laughs> there you go, it's heat. Okay. Bosh. That should be alright. Hopefully I'll be fine. <sighs> what next? This is the whole demon blade thing, mm -hmm. isn't it? Not bad, but now you have to deal with me. What will you do? I cannot be killed, struggle all you want, but you'll never destroy me. <laughs> 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 that blade. Is that the hazy moon? It can't be. How did you get hold of it? The one you, the, it yeah, was this, fake. this boss you, you stole from the boss was fake. They're just nodding. Yes. yes. What? So you switched them? Hehehe, he, he, I see now. It seems the tables have turned. But I shall enjoy this. For the first time, it will be a fight for my life. Right, so you've got to finish him off with. Finish oh. him with the special demon blade move. I don't know how I do that. Have I got, have I got the blade? Yeah. Okay. It's infinite. It's infinite, so just slash him. Come on. So I'm guessing I have to finish him with that. Looks like it, yeah. Oh, don't. Come along, you need to get your heat up, remember? That's fine. Don't kill him before oh, you yeah. do. Oh yeah, well I can maybe take an item. See? Okay. Right, wait for him to stand up. Or... No, you just finished him with the wrong thing. Oh well. You complete tit. <laughs> Was I meant to do it when he stood up? Yeah. Fuck. Am I dying? Me? A vampire with eternal life? The boss is waiting for you in hell. The, the boss is dating four girls in hell. Gah. Gah. Tatsu of Camaro. Not bad for a human. You could have been an even bigger villain than I. Okay, cut. Thanks, Kiryu-san. I mean, they only did one thing that wrong. That was everything we needed. One thing wrong is probably yep. fine. Was I okay? You were amazing, Kiryu-chan. I love that stuff you ad-libbed there too. That's just the kind of spice I was looking for. Really? The words just seem to tumble out of my mouth. Then you've got the tumblings of a genius. Even I couldn't pull off that level of awesome. And those action scenes with the icing on the cake. We got some unforgettable shots that'll make people jump out of their seats. Filming went really smoothly thanks to you, so I beefed up your pay quite nice. a bit. Thanks for all the help. Oh, That's nice. a fairly sizable paycheck, isn't it? <laughs> Bye then. <laughs> Oh, well, that was fun. Yeah. Kat, you've missed all of the episode. We're finishing now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you did all right with that one. I think I did good. Right, let's save get to the save point down there. Well, that was fun. So we still need to find where the Amagasa 
family dudes are in their red tracksuits. Um, I suspect they might be in Olivia or somewhere like that, you know? You reckon? But we'll find out in the next episode. Till then, bye. See ya.